Hello guys, it's me Kevin Framing, and this is my first ever Minecraft video. Now, as you can see here, I'm in a city which I built. Now, I've been worked on the city for like two years. I started back in 2021, and look how much I built. So today, why not I show you around? Yeah. All right, let's get started. Why right after I turn the volume down? Cause yeah, you might not hear me otherwise. This is my first video using the headphones on the PS4. I usually do it on the desktop, but since I'm working on the PS4 today, it's the first time. So, I don't know where the sound is. There we go. I think I found it. Alright. I think I turn it down a little bit. Yeah, just turn it down. We're going to turn it down to like 20, I think. And we're going to turn all this down to 20 as well. So the environment I'll turn down to 20, the blocks I'll turn to 20 as well, so that's nice. The hostile creatures, don't need to worry about them because we haven't got any hostiles in our server. We've got friendly creatures, go turn that down to 10. And then players, don't have any players, don't need to worry. Shoot blocks, nope. Weather, no. Text speech, no. Alright, that's for good. Let's see how it is now. We're going to do a build walking. There we go, you can hear me. Right, let's get started. We're going to start over here, actually. We're going to go to the back here. We're going to make our way to the front. So, yeah. Alright, first up is this, um, what is it, a yellow building? I'm not sure what it is. Here's a bus stop. And here we are on Bishop Way. Don't know, I have to make random names up. And inside, I it's nothing much, just yellow and purple, so no need to look in there. Right, we're going to go over here now. We got this another building. Again, not very interesting. It's just plain with a glowstone building. Oh, I just broke that, never mind. With a yellow and green checkered pattern there. We're going to close the door now. Then you got another bus stop right here. Bishop way, as usual. And then nothing up there, so we're going to go down here now. So this is the three houses. So this house is empty, and so is that house. I'll just put that again. But this is my house in the middle, so it's nothing much except for this broken block right here. When you go upstairs, yeah, it's just an empty house. I don't really do decorations inside the houses, just saying. Because I feel like it's worthless. At the end of this world, you've got nothing but you've got Henchway. Yeah, once again, a made up name. And then we're going to go straight here next. But before that, here's the alleyway that can that leads behind the houses. I was going to do this into a garden, but nah. So here we've got a McDonald's, which is the first detailed building. So. We've got two exits or entrances, you've got that there, or is that the exit, I'm not really sure. Right, that's the exit, and that's, oh, brought that, and that's the entrance, okay, here's the entrance. So, you've got a little turning to the car park, you've got a few parking spaces here, plus the McDonald's sign up there and there, and... It's a symmetry over here as well, so yeah. And then we're going to enter. So here's the entrance, that's the exit. So we're going to go through the entrance. As you can see here, when you walk in the door, you've got spruce on the floor, and then you've got glass like bit in here. And when you enter it, a god hell of lanterns up there, so scary. Yeah, I know. You've got some six seaters tables here. It's mainly like six seaters at the front of the building, plus some, um, plus a double table here. You've got a four table, four table, plus you've got, I don't know what this is. Right. I don't think um, there's not much like double seaters here, there's one. So, yeah. Plenty, there's not any space. So, here you've got like the kiosks where you can like order the food from here. Yeah, it's not really detailed. You've got the same over here, and we'll go, go through here now. So in here you've got the men's toilet 
got the cauldron, which is like the, uh, what do you call it, the urinals, I think, not sure. Here you got like the door toilets, you got that there, that there. I wish there was like more toilets in this, uh, like McDonald's, because, yeah. And then now we've got staff only area. So here you've got a ton load of ovens. You've got about 20 ovens. Remember, it's a busy McDonald's, so yeah. You've got the sinks here. Could need some taps here as well. Uh, once again, lanterns everywhere. And then you've got another 20 here. So you've got 40 ovens, which is kind of useful. So, But I wish there could be more ovens. But, yeah. I think it's much better if we put like uh the equipment here. You got like for example the air fryer so you can like put the chips in that. Anyway. Yep, here's the staff toilets. So I'm not going through this in brief detail by the way, I'm just talking nonsense here, so don't mind me. So we're gonna shut the door. So you got a sink here, toilet here, and you got the flush here. So that's cool. And then that's it for the uh, this area, and you got here now. You got the check area, so here's where you order your food, and this is where you collect your food. So hmm. yeah, could be better if it's both collections, because you have to like order from a kiosk, but whatever. Anyway, now we're gonna go over to the other side where you can see the disabled toilets and the female's toilets. First we're going to go in the disabled. So you've got a bed here, which is basically a changing like area. You can like put your babies on there and change them. Or show us some sort of bin over here so you can just decompose a bit. So I go off sink here and that's about it. And then female toilets likely going to be the same as the uh, male toilets. So you got uh, sinks over here, plus seated toilets. I mean, yeah, since it's female, you may want to have another one of those in there. But anyway, I think it's a pretty small McDonald's, like, less uh, seating. But, yeah, it's a McDonald's, so everyone's happy in the very right. Right, that's the McDonald's side, and I forgot to show behind here, didn't I? So here's like a little like pig farm over here. You got pigs here. Plus there's a wood uh building. You got broken grass. Broken grass. What am I talking about? Less lighting and not many pigs. So I don't see the point of that. Hmm. And then we're gonna go around here now. Well, actually before that we need to go over here so we can go here. I don't know what I'm talking about. Got men, new men road over here. We're gonna go to that in a second, but right now we're gonna go here. So here we got the Pizza Hut delivery area. So it's opens twenty four seven, and then over here you got the dog house. If you watch Stampy Long Nose or Stampy Long Head, you may know that you have got like these names for the dogs. So this is what I put. So we got Vinny, Tilly, Sammy, Danny, Ronnie and Benny. All of those end with uh, A-E, or except for this one which ends with a Y, but it end, ends with the same pronunciation, so E, so, yeah, so, I don't know what colour they are, I, I removed that, but anyway, that's it for the doghouse, you got like these same windows which I like, so we got white, brown, purple, yellow, orange, pink, yep, green, blue, black and red. So it's pretty much every colour, I think. So yeah. you've got the Pizza Hut now. Let's go in there. So in here you've got a little waiting area so the pizzas can be cooked. You've got two windows there. Oh no, three windows, yeah. You've got a menu up there. You've got the tools. You've got the windows. And then let's go out here on the other side because that will be where the kitchen is. So let's go to the kitchen. Here we are. So here we got the ingredients, you got the beef, you got the chicken, the potato, carrot, mutton, stew, don't know why there's rabbit stew in the pizza place, whatever, pumpkin pie, beetroot, pumpkin, 
watermelon, war rabbit, red mushroom, gold nugget. Don't know why that's in the McDonald's menu. I think it's like the chicken nugget. Melon seeds, bread for like, I don't know, beetroot soup, ingot, ingot, berry. We've got the mushroom stew and the walled pork chop. Don't know why there's stew in the pizza place, whatever. We've got pizzas here, you've got pizza ovens. And I wish there could be like, oh yeah, here you got the chopping tables. I was going to say we didn't have any chopping tables, but we do. Anyway, that's it for this side. And now we've got a villager here taking his llamas for a walk. He's two llamas. So let's see what they want. Hello, villager. Hey, I'm talking to you. Oh, I don't want to trade, no. Oh, yeah, you're a trading villager. I forgot that. Haven't played for uh, about a while, so forgot what they mean. Anyway, here's the volcano road with the Cameroon road lane, which is the name of the country, and here's Cameroon Road. Hold on, I don't get it. You've got Cameroon Lane, and then you've got Cameroon Road. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, let's go now to the Roblox store. So here we've got a Roblox store in a Minecraft world, I know. So let's see what's inside. So we've got Roblox store. So it's basically like when you go into like an Argos. If you're in the UK and you know what Argos is, you know what I'm talking about. You've got these kiosks. So I think it's where you check like what's available and add it to your orders. I haven't been in an Argos for a long time. I haven't know what it means. And I only order online. So haven't really been physically in an Argos. So... Excuse me. So please use exit at the top right corner of the store. There's the top right corner. Got the villagers here, like buying some a PS5. Hello. You got the collection points and a nice view up there. You got a nice sea lands up there, and that's about it for this Ro Argos. No Roblox. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, now next exit. And we're out the Roblox store. Brill. Okay, next up, we're going to go over here to the roundabout. So, here's the where you can go. You've got Genomet, which is not a fictional place, by the way. These are like fictional places, so you can't really go in there in real life. You've got Genomet, Mazapin, Bottom Rock, Stentorush. You got the superstore, which is over there, the town center, which I haven't built. Over here, you got the help help center. Oh yeah, I forgot to do the help center. And then you got ferment. So before we get over here, we want to check out these two stores first. So here you got a store called Jardine, which is like sardine, but I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, in we got the uh, like the trolleys. And here you got the produce for sale. Oh yeah, this is basically like a produce store. So you can buy your fruit and veg in here. Plus some food. So that's pretty awesome. And then you've got these incredibly thick tills. Like, they're like four blocks wide. Uh, so basically it's going to get hefty in here. However, what I can do is like, I can like, I can like split this into like three tills. Like, you know? I don't know why I built like two back tills, that's mad. You've got glass ceilings, so that's cool as well. So look, you can like see out the sky now. Wow. So now let's go out to the Jardine store. And now we can go into the help center. So this is where you can basically get information about anything. And if you want to like know your directions, there's also a map in here, I think. There's a map. Well, let's check. Yeah, there's a map. So here's like a map of the entire city. So we covered this area so far. We're going to get into this area in a minute. And here's the tills. And yeah. So basically, if you're being assaulted, you can also come here and they'll help you here. So that's cool. I like the doors as well because they're like ocean style. And I like the banner saying help in capital letters. So. Basically, it's a one-way entrance, so here's the entrance here, uh, let's go down, you've got a car park, and then you can exit through here, so it's a one entrance, nice. 
and um, one entrance, one exit. Cool. All right, we're done for this area, and actually, we're gonna go in this area. Oh, we're gonna go through this road, and we're now going to go Henchway again. As you can see, Henchway starts here and ends about here. Right. Here's Henchway. So it's basically this long. There's two straight roads, so straight road going up and then turn left and then go down and then that's yes, cool. Anyway, so now we're gonna check out the spectate spec savers. Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. How many times am I gonna keep on saying why am I talking about that? No. Anyway, here's spec savers, you've got a mirror here, a collection of glasses, obviously Minecraft does not have them, so shame on you, Minecraft. Got a random torch here. Got torches and got a pillar with small glasses. You got the waiting area, so you can have like appointments in there. You got a till area here. Got a chest here which says Spec Ava. What? Yep. Uh. Oh yeah. This is basically the letters Spec Savers. Yeah. So it's every letter, don't you worry. Okay. Now we're going to go out the trap door. And pro to the eye test room. So here's where you can like get your eyes tested and see the light here, you know. Haven't been spec savers in three years, um so it's mad. I can't remember every single detail. Anyway, so here's like where you can see your letters. So you get these like special glasses, go and have them here. Here's the computer where it can test and you just sit here read the letters if you can't read them you get glasses and if you do read them you don't need to so that's cool and he's got the waiting area again so yeah that's spec savers for you i could add more detail but yeah that's about it for the spec savers so yeah anyway now we're going to visit our very first grocery store so we've got grocery mania which I've been building grocery menu since 2019, which is very popular in my Minecraft worlds. Anyway, I'm going to be doing future Minecraft videos. I'm going to be building like cities and that. So if you would like to stay like reminded like that, then you can like hit subscribe button and we turn on notifications. So cool. Okay, now we've got grocery menu. I'll just clear the leaves off there so you can see. Uh, I might want to cover these leaves as well. We're gonna. Do some uh, leaves trimming, so go trim the leaves, you know, so you can see properly. We're going to cover that as well. We're going to remove this and add some detail there. Oh, it's broke a block. I'm basically just drawing my world, I don't know why. Anyway, you enter through here. As you can see by these three lines, they're like irregular. Basically, um, I can't like fit all you know each world i put like two lines from the road and sometimes it doesn't go as well so to put three lines but it doesn't matter so he got a decent car park wish it could be bigger because it is a big supermarket anyway let's go in there you can't you don't know what one's the entrance and exit for some reason so that's mad you don't have the trolleys here so that's also mad i oh, know anyway Enter here, you've got the aisles, you've got the gross menu up there, you've got where you can get your food, your toiletries, your stationery and that. So, anything you can imagine is there. Got the tails which represent the pride flag, so let's see here, you've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, pink, purple, white and black. So, yeah, it's basically colours I get. And then... Got a little bit of fit in here. The, where the air comes from, yeah. Anyway, that's it. Now we're going to go through the back now. Oh, no, we can't because, as you can see, you can't open iron doors. Shame. That means we have to exit. Oh, what's going on? Eh? We have to exit from here. As you can see, it's staff end only exit, but I don't care. So, yeah, you got the road leading down here. Through there, down there we go. And then, alright, I think this is the last thing. Yeah, it's the last thing. So, he got the staff car park, 
you got the delivery trucks where people like delivery drivers can take their groceries from here over to the houses. So that's also cool. Got a road that leads the trucks. So that's cool as well. You got another bus stop here which is unnamed. Got a little uh scenic area and then here's the car park entrance, staff only, of course. Now I think that's all. Yeah, I think that's all. Anyway, that is all for now. I hope to like my Minecraft world. Please note it was from years four years ago, so I wasn't good at building at the time, so don't hate me for this. Okay, so there'll be new Roblox video I mean, what am I talking about? New Minecraft videos coming up soon because yeah, I just like get Minecraft now. I don't know why I said Roblox videos like maybe it's because I've been attracted to Roblox. I keep on saying my, my, my Roblox. Don't know, I'm starting for a second. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you liked it and I'll see you soon. Yep, and here we go. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. See you next time.